Hi everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back. My name is Jamie and I make cleaning, organizing, and military lifestyle videos every Sunday and Wednesday. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you a tour of the local Aldi and Lidl, which is two grocery stores in the Vilsack Grafenbeer area in Bavaria, Germany. Hot tip, similar to the American Aldi, you need a quarter to get a cart, and yes, an American quarter works in the carts here, or a European Euro. You can definitely find the basic necessities in a German grocery store. Oftentimes, there's much less selection and a European brand as opposed to an American brand, but some of the things are pretty similar and also pretty similarly priced. I spy some American peanut butter. Fresh bakeries are nothing to sleep on in Germany, whether it's at the local bakery or just in your local grocery store, you definitely want to check out all of those sweet pastries. Chocolate is definitely something the Germans have the upper hand on and you are going to want to check out as much of it as possible. Those Knopper bars I just showed are some of my favorites and Ritter Sport is also a great German chocolate brand. Some more familiar brands are Lindt chocolate and Milka chocolate. Those are also both German brands. Another thing that you will always be able to find in abundance and at a good price is alcohol. It probably takes up the most shelf space in every single grocery store. Coming up here, I'm just going to speed through some of the aisles. Feel free to pause the video if you'd like to look more closely at the products that are available and the prices. Keep in mind the prices are euro, but a lot of them are still really great value. Consumerism isn't quite as rampant in Europe as it is in America, so there's not as many stores, not as many options when it comes to products, but Christmas is something they don't skimp on, and I love this time of year in Germany. I ended up picking up that wine advent calendar that you see, and I'm so excited to start it in a week. As you would expect, there is a huge selection of cheese and sausages. <laughs> Lots of red meat. Sausage goes on for this entire aisle. But you can't when you're with me. You need to find a way. But you can't when you're with me. You can with everyone else. Not me. 
Another hot tip is eggs and milk are in the dry goods section in German grocery stores. Just the way they're pasteurized, it's totally healthy. Just don't go looking for eggs in the cold section. You will not find them. I think unique advent calendars are starting to become more popular in America in the last few years, but I was so excited when we first got here. I just showed you a clip of a puppy dog treat advent calendar, which I think is so cool. And also there was a snack foods advent calendar, there's beer advent calendars, and like I said, I picked up a wine advent calendar. There's just like a never ending selection. I'm sorry, didn't I do the best I could, I could. You have high expectations. Oh, I know that you've explained that how I should prove myself to you. A few other things that are unique to German grocery stores are all grocery stores are reusable bags. They don't really do plastic bags, and the grocery stores that do do plastic bags, they charge for them, and of course, they're things that you pick out yourselves. They don't just start bagging your groceries. In fact, they don't bag your groceries at all. It's more like dump it in your cart and then you bag as you can. Also, as I pointed out at the beginning of this video, it's not just Aldi. You always pay for your cart with one euro or um, they have reusable plastic coins that you can get in some places. I definitely use those. And an American Quarter also fits because it's similarly sized to a Euro, so I use those. Next, we are heading into Lidl. We don't pick up very much here because I just really didn't need to go grocery shopping. I just wanted to show you all of the fun things that you can get, but we of course stopped at their bakery and we picked up some croissants that are filled with ham and cheese and they are so delicious. to look like I only come into the German grocery store for carbs, cheese, chocolate, and alcohol, and that would be right. One thing I'm not really impressed with is any type of German chip. I feel like in America we do like sour cream and onion and like cheddar flavors and everything in Germany is like paprika flavored and it's just not my vibe but you should definitely check it out and see if it's for you. We grab way too many bottles of alcohol in this video but it's so hard when they're only a couple of euro. I mean, you guys know, in America, nothing is less than $10, and we really wanted to pick up some bottles of glue vine, which is like a hot, mold wine, and it's super famous in Germany, especially around the Christmas season, and you usually would find it at the Christmas markets, but due to COVID, all the Christmas markets have been canceled, so we're stocking up on our own bottles and having Christmas at home. so long sometimes I forget what's unique to Germany and what just might be a thing worldwide and I've just never seen it but do they sell McDonald's chicken nuggets in the frozen section anywhere in America? Personally I'm here for it if they do. If you're new to this channel I also do cleaning and organizing videos so I'm pretty obsessed with cleaning supplies 
And there's definitely some cleaning supplies that have started to get big in America that I'm really missing out on and I'm excited to try. But I'm really going to miss some of my German products and I'm especially going to miss German prices on cleaning products because they're so affordable. Toilet paper is another thing in Germany that if you're not picky, it's a million times cheaper here. So definitely check that out and see if it's for you. And yes, we also have the great toilet paper shortage of 2020 right here in Europe. You may notice that my bags are only half packed and that is because checkouts in Germany are again similar to American Aldi an Olympic sport and the faster you can do it the happier your cashier is. That would be why my groceries are spilling out of my bag because I didn't take the time to do it properly. What did you say was my ham and cheese? Ham and cheese. We just returned our cart at Lidl and washed our hands, took off our masks, and now we're gonna have some lunch. I'm obsessed with bread in all countries, but specifically in Germany. What do you think? Hmm? I have cheese. Oh, the cheese is farther in. It'd be good warmed up, but I'm starving. Mm -hmm. I asked him to get me two, but he ignored me. You said get two. I said get me two. Aldi is like middle of the road discount store, I would say. Little is super discount in my opinion like i always think everything is so cheap there the netto which i will also show you is super cheap i think and the etica i think is the most expensive out of the smaller grocery stores don't you yeah it's also my favorite the etica mm -hmm. yeah and it's right by our house so we shop there probably the most for german grocery stores don't you say mm -hmm. There's a few bigger ones, but they're not in the Grafenbeerville-Sec area. You have to leave this area like 20 minutes away, 30 minutes away. And some medicas have the push the button for the bread thing. The bread bending machine. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Etikas? Mm -hmm. They're all similar as you'll start to see the layout. If you've been to an American Aldi, it's kind of like that. That vibe, that size. They really utilize their shelf space. You'll be looking at meat, and if you look up, all of a sudden you're looking at pasta. It's just, but also half the store is alcohol in every store. Alcohol and chocolate, that's their priority, and bread. Germany's not very festive when it comes to holidays, but they really do appreciate Christmas. Probably not quite as much as Americans, but for the level of festiveness in Germany, Christmas is pretty high here. what we're getting as we're getting it but i'm just gonna do a quick overview we've got some radlers which is like spray lemon flavored soda mixed with beer it's way better than that sounds got myself a salad for lunch some tomatoes some sauce because my husband likes to make gnocchi and tortellini for lunches and dinners so put some sauces He's a P&J addict, so we always need some jam. Dishwasher tablets. Blueberry glue vine. So these are the things that we got from Aldi. This is my American Aldi bag, but. And we needed some pasta, so I stocked up on this. I can't believe this was like a dollar or something i showed it in the previous clips but like a dollar fifty or less for this thick box of pasta 
I got some of these. They are really popular for cleaning in Germany. They're like reusable paper towels. Got some English muffins. Some brown baking paper. I also can't get over how cheap this is in Germany. This was less than a dollar at Aldi, so I always stock up on that. More pasta. Francisco got a ton of this lentil pasta because it's higher source of protein and lower source of carbs than regular pasta. I don't think it's that good, but if you're a health into health and fitness and that's something that you like to eat, they do have it here, so. And then I grabbed some Christmas cards to send to family back home in the States that say Merry Christmas in German. They're so pretty. I'm just gonna show you what we picked up at Lidl in case you missed it. Um, we didn't pick up that much at either of the grocery stores. We didn't really go in with a, a game plan or of, of what we needed to get grocery shopping. I mostly just wanted to film and show you what the grocery stores looked like. So if everything looks random, it's because it is. Another bottle of Glühwein. And then a bottle of Moscato. And I don't think I paid more than a few dollars for any of these bottles that you, I have here. And then these little sangrias. So, you know, pasta and alcohol. I mean, what else do you need? These cookies are just like shortbread cookies. They're like German's version of graham crackers, but they taste like shortbread to me. And they are like less than a dollar for this whole stack of cookies. This whole stack of cookies. I'm obsessed. My husband's not obsessed, but every time I open some, he eats them. And then we got a bottle of this. Now it's like a version of mayo. I'm not exactly sure what's in it, but they put it on a sandwich that we get often at the bakery. And so we want to try to make our own version of it and see if the sauce is what we think it is. It's delicious, hopefully. That's all I got from Lidl and Aldi. That's the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed a little peek inside the German Aldi and the Lidl. If there was something that I didn't show you or questions that you have about prices or something that you are curious about if you can get on the German economy or even if you're curious if you can get it at the commissary like something specific that's your favorite or something you need that's for a certain um ethnic dish. I would love to find out if there's any place local that carries that for you so you can be ready and prepared. <laughs> if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more military content or some cleaning and organizing content, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below. Again, I upload every Sunday and Wednesday. And if you have any further questions, of course, leave them down in the comments below. I would love to answer them for you. The more you know, the less stressful your PCS will be. And I know there's things that we just get stuck on, like just things that worry us that shouldn't worry us. So if what grocery shopping is gonna be like or what amenities you're gonna find on the German economy is what's stressing you out, I would love to tour some more areas, but I would love to go to um, some of the decor stores next. I get that question a lot, or I've seen that question a lot. Um, what's like Hobby Lobby, what's like Michael's? And I don't know if they're looking for craft stores or home decor stores, but um, people give them tons of recommendations. And though they're good recommendations, they're like the best that you can do. I don't wanna get anybody's like hopes up that there's Hobby Lobby in Germany because there absolutely is nothing comparable to Hobby Lobby or Michaels or Target or really anything like that. There's smaller, versions that sell things that Hobby Lobby would sell, but there's nothing to that expansion or to that extent. And I think the best way to gauge an idea of what Germany has to offer is to really just show you. So I would love to do that, but keep in mind, I mean, shopping isn't what it is in America, but traveling isn't what it is in America either. There's really exciting things to see in Germany. So if the grocery store tour really intimidated you by the size or the lack of choice or product, don't even worry about it, girl. You're going to be hours from Paris. You're going to be hours from Prague. You've got bigger things to worry about while you're here. And I hope you really enjoy your time in Germany. They're always hiding something holy in the sky.